Hi guys, uh, this is Rowan here with Sandstone Care, and I have Robert Johnson with me as our first guest on the podcast. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Can, uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background and what brought you here to Sandstone for this podcast? Sure. So I'm uh, the executive director of A New Outlook Counseling in Highlands Ranch. Um, what brought me here is, you know, knowing that the need is there for these adolescents, these young adults that need some substance, some structure, some, some quality care. Um, and, and, and understand that, you know, the, the need is there and, and I know that they're, you guys are doing a great job with that. Well, thank you. And, and I, one reason that we wanted to talk to you is that today I really want to focus on the continuum of care and how important it is to really look at care from, from a kind of a long range model. It's not just a quick plugging holes, but it's actually like a really long term healing process. And, um, and I know that you have a lot of experience and you've seen this continuum from, from every angle possible pretty much. Right. So the, the continuum of care is, is vital to um, especially substance use uh, clients. Um, a 30 day spin dry at a treatment center is not going to um, carry much positive results. Usually six to nine months stabilization um, connected with a program like Sandstone in conjunction with uh, an outpatient therapist like yeah. me or many of the others here in, in this Denver area um, shows that Establishing this this relationship of continual work on themselves uh, will will boast the best results. Uh, one year down the road, two years down the road, they're going to show um, most likely that they're still clean. Right. Uh, right. Relapse is part of recovery, Absolutely. and it doesn't have to be. Um, so by establishing this this continuum of care and and having this this collaborative effort between the therapists, the the, the family therapists, and creating this system of um, of care for this young adult, um, showing that actually he's not alone. Right. He can uh, ask for help. He can get what's needed, right. um, and and actually learn to become independent and not have to live off of mom and dad, and actually get out of that house and and gain employment and possibly find something to go back to school for, um, and 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 find some drive and some motivation to to get them out of that rut and stop that cycle of addiction. Right. Very right. important. Yeah. And I know that that's something that's been in, in your past too, and um, both personally and professionally. Would you mind just sharing a little bit about that? Sure. Um, so I, I went through a program back in 2001. Um, it, it was a therapeutic community, Stout Street Foundation. Um, and, you know, I learned a lot about myself. Uh, it was a behavior modification program. Um, I was addicted to cocaine marijuana and alcohol at that point in my life and I found a new way to live that doesn't have to include uh, substances. Um, I, I, I reestablished relationships with my parents um, and my family and realized that um, I'm worth working for. Hmm. And, and change change my life. A um, couple weeks, I'll be uh, celebrating 17 years clean and sober. Congratulations! Um, one day at a time, and I've done that through 12-step uh, programs. Um, I know that 12-step <clears throat> programs work, but that's not necessarily everyone's path. Right. And I'm open to helping whatever way. 
uh, is working for them. Uh, but it can't be um, as basic as some of them want. Right. It has to have some structure. It has to have some responsibility and accountability. And um, I can help them with that. Yeah. Along with, yeah. you know, what they've learned here in, in other programs, um, creating that that basic foundation for what is a recovery program to you right. um, it, it, it's fantastic I, I, I love working with people especially that have come out of sandstone uh, they're, they're a little more advanced than um, some other programs that, I, that I've that I've had people come out of whether it be successfully or unsuccessfully and I just know that um, when I get someone that's graduated sandstone, uh, their 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 level of skill is a little higher. Their their level for motivation is a little higher, and their path um, is pretty clear. Okay. They're they're ready to continue. Yeah, well, that, that's great to hear, and a huge compliment. So thank you, and I know that we really love working with you as well because you understand that that process and you can kind of pick up where we left off and that's something that, that is so important for us is that um, we're not, not just um, supporting someone while they're coming in to our doors but that if someone is is reaching out to us and and they're reporting that they need a low, lower level of care that we can connect them with someone like you or many of the other wonderful and, and really talented um, therapists and counselors in the area. There's a lot of good ones out there. And, yeah. um, and then also, the, on the other end, if they need a higher level of care, they can go up to um, a program like the Harmony Foundation um, or Recovery Village in Palmer Lake, or there's other yeah. great programs around um, where they can, they can stabilize and get that initial 30 days. Um, and and then maybe come back to us or go to a, another program or see an outpatient therapist, but that um, no matter what, we're really trying to connect people to, to go on this journey and not just try to do a kind of a one-stop shop and, and, and get that quick fix. Yeah, like uh, some, some, for instance, some clients say when they get out of treatment, um, they don't want to go to an outpatient. They don't want to go to an intensive outpatient. Right. I'm just going to go to meetings and not use. That sounds great. Yeah. I would love for that to happen. How are you going to do that? Right. Right. And they don't have an answer. Yeah. It's, it's and that's where challenge. we come in. Right. Is being able to connect those dots. Mm -hmm. Reach A. Reach point A. We're going to go to B, and then we'll go to C, and then we'll just keep keep moving down the line. Yeah. Um, th those those ideas are great. Not use, and, and I'm going to go to meetings. Wow, that would I wish that worked for everyone. Right, right. That <laughs> would be great. I, I know. And that's just too basic. Yeah. Well, I, I really appreciate you you talking through the, just the basics of this. I know we could sit here all day and, and talk about this because I'm very passionate about it. I know you are. I know that that there is hope and people can recover. And that's the, the thing I want to get across is whether it be with me or Sandstone, uh, don't give up. Find someone that you, that you relate to and, and that's professional enough to show you that there is hope and you can do it. Well, thanks so much. And I just want to also make sure that people know how to get in touch with you. Sure. Um, what's the best way to, to reach out if someone wa is interested in working with you? They can uh, reach me on the web at coloradocounselor.org or by email at robert at, at coloradocounselor.org. Robert at coloradocounselor.org.